again for taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule to stop by Austin's American Flyer YouTube page. Today I wanted to share with you a few things that happened this weekend. One of those is that we got the rail gang out and did some modifications. We've moved some switches around, we've got some new sidings and whatnot with a singular goal in mind. That was to bring these accessories out a little bit closer to the edge of the layout so that when some of my young engineers are here to help, they have a better idea of what's happening, they can see things moving. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of attending the train show at the Essen House restaurant. And one of the things I mentioned in that follow-up video was I had a, several meaningful conversations with uh, vendors off camera. One of those vendors was kind enough to let me visit his home over the past weekend. And he was a gracious host and spent about three and a half hours filling my head with all kinds of things that I never heard before, didn't know about, uh, reference materials, history of American Flyer, history on accessories, on and on and on it went. And I am so grateful. Thank you, Craig, for taking the time to uh, help instill a little bit of the tradition of American Flyer with maybe the next generation. Um, and I will, over the next weeks, share some of those tidbits with all of you. Another thing that Craig was kind enough to do is sell me a few projects. So over the next weeks and months, we'll have some new endeavors to do together. One of those will be fairly simple and straightforward. That is a six wheel truck depressed center flat car. Uh, I was able to get the trucks from Craig and uh, we'll now be looking to reassemble everything and then also for the coil. There's a round coil, steel coil that American Flyer uh, made and set on the middle of these cars. And so that's another part that I'll be looking for to add to make this car uh, completely serviceable and as close to new as possible. As you've no doubt picked up, American Flyer prided themselves in having accessories that made running trains a little bit more fun. Uh, lots of push button actions. One of those uh, accessories that I don't have on my layout consisted of a small depot that had people that would actually rotate or move out of the station into a waiting passenger car, into the passenger car, through the passenger car, and back out into the station. It just so happens that I was able to pick up the car that goes with that. This car has doors that open and shut on each end, and then a mechanism inside that keeps the people funneling through as they traverse in and back out again. This car is a bit rough. Uh, there's some paint damage on the roof. It's very dirty. It's got some uh, missing pieces on the one end, so I'll have some repairs to do. But my hope is to do some servicing on this car, um, get it a little bit more presentable, and then uh, take it with me to an upcoming train show and see what it might be worth. So this is kind of a fun experiment. I've never done anything like this before. Any reconstruction or rehabbing that I've ever done. It was strictly for the purpose of keeping it uh, here on my layout. Um, and that may happen with this, but I thought, hey, if I'm going anyhow, let's just see uh, what happens with some elbow grease and uh, a few bits and pieces. Another thing that I've always wished I had on this layout because it seems like a fun accessory are the electromagnetic cranes that American Flyer made. They were simple, they had a crane that you could pick up metal with and deposit that metal into a waiting car. It just so happens that this weekend I was able to pick up the bits and pieces for two such cranes. One is this gray one, the start gray base, and these are considered a pre-war or before World War II crane. And then also this one, which would have been the next series to follow after the, the pre-war crane. I. <laughs> I have many, many pieces, and so uh, assembling these is going to be a new journey. And if any of you have ever put one of these together or done maintenance on one and would have some advice, please let me know. Uh, I know there's much I don't know, and ignorance is bliss, so <laughs> we'll see how this project goes. But again, this is another project that I will be uh, happy to share with all of you as it progresses. Last but not least, I was able to pick up two of these. These are a fun little accessory that adds a little bit of extra interest to uh, American Flyer layouts. There's a simple device that, that goes underneath the track and as trains come by, the wheels cause the lights on here to flick. 
a very simple accessory but adds a little bit of interest. So again, uh, always looking for a little bits and pieces that will help the layout seem a little bit more alive and I'm thinking that's just a step in the right direction. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of upcoming projects. And as always, please click the subscribe button. Love to have you join our growing uh, list of subscribers. Enjoy your American Flyer S-Scale trains.